Hello everybody, welcome to this session. The objective of this session is to see how to flag a uh, material for deletion at the plant level. Uh, you can also uh, put the uh, deletion level, uh, deletion flag at the material level or at the company core level. However, what we are going to do is we would just see uh, the example of putting it at the plant level. Now, what happens if in case you put the deletion flag at the plant level? So, uh, if in case we are putting it for deletion flag uh, at the plant X, then a plant X would not be able to procure it. However, if in case this particular material is still active for plant Y, Z, and other other plants, so they can still procure it under the same company code all right however if in case you are putting a deletion flag at the material level itself then the possibility would not be there let's uh, see one example all right so what i'm going to do is uh, i have picked up a material so the path is logistics then materials management and then the material master then the material and then the flag for deletion mm06 if you would like to do it immediately if in, if in case you would like to flag it for deletion at a certain future date then you will be using the schedule functionality mm16 so we'll be seeing uh, we'll be seeing how to do it immediately so mm06 okay uh, we have a material and we have a plant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, put a deletion flag for this particular material so let's see what is the current material status so here you can see here this is a material and this is basically semi finished crude right now and we would like to uh, put a deletion flag at this particular material. So what we are going to do is just give the material number and the plant level uh, and the plant. So you can see here it is asking for flag the material for deletion at what level whether you would like to do it at a material level or whether you would like to do it at a plant level. So I would like to do it at a plant level. If I select this hierarchy you can see here these are the smaller hierarchies basically if I do this hierarchy then this will be flag for deletion for all of them automatically but if in case you are doing this that means you are only putting up a flag for deletion at this particular plant all right the sales organization will still be eligible and the warehouse number will still be eligible okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this now okay so deletion flags changed so that means the deletion flag is active right now and what we are going to do is now we will try to procure this material and see what happens. So I am going to ME21N to create a purchase order to see what happens if in case I will create a purchase order with this particular material. Alright, so the material was R-0105. Uh, say 100 quantity and I will select the plant as BDPL 001 and press enter okay so here it is giving me an error message that material R-0105 is flagged for deletion so it would not be eligible for any kind of procurement so it is very simple what you have to do is you have to remove the deletion flag and then only you will be able to procure it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Uh, meanwhile, if you like my video, please do subscribe and share. Thank you so much.